Hello lovely people and welcome to my investing channel. I decided to invest £100 each month in a stock market using my trading 2 and 2 platform. On this channel, I will show you my investing journey step by step and as I learn more and more about investing, I will share that information with you and also hope you can relate to you. In today's upload, we are talking about Aston Martin. Aston Martin Lagonda Global Holdings is a British independent manufacturer of luxury sports cars and grand tourers was founded in 1913 by Lionel Martin and Robert Bamford. The company became associated with expensive grand touring cars in the 1950s and 60s and also with the fictional character James Bond, following his use of a DBNA model in the film Goldfinger. Last year the company launched its first SUV model, DBX. The company is listed on the London Stock Exchange and is part of the FTSE 250 index. For the first six months of the year, the business revenue decreased 64% to £146 million. Net loss increased from 63 million to 200. Revenue reflects sale of vehicle segment decrease 68% to 130 million pounds. Total debt at the end of last year was around 890 million. A consortium led by billionaire Lawrence Stroll, owner of the Racing Point Formula One team, will take 20% stake in the Aston Martin company and he will become its executive chairman. Another Formula One important figure, Toto Wolff, acquired almost 5% stake in April 2020. From my point of view, until now Aston Martin share price has been a disaster, especially if we compare the current price of the share and its IPO. The company has been bankrupt several times in the past. Some investors are attracted to the Aston Martin share due to its luxury brand association. One of the positive news about the company is related to Lawrence Stroll and Toto Wolff. Both effective entrepreneurs, they can change the face of the brand in the future. For the next 12 months, Aston Martin is not a company that I will invest in. If you found this information useful and wish to see more content, please make sure to drop a like, comment and subscribe to the channel. Regards. Disclaimer. I am not a financial advisor. If you seek financial advice, please seek a licensed professional.